Hey guys, it's me Dave. I thought I'd do another video tonight. It is 1-17-2020, still the same date. Um, you know, I want to do a video talking about childhood. Um, I honestly, I honestly, you know, I'm speaking from the heart. I honestly believe that I've been in this program since I was one or two years old. Um, MK Ultra program. I was born in 1973. Um, I can kind of track back to my childhood and stuff like that. You know, I want to make one thing clear. Um, people, you know, there's some targets out there, targets that talk about having a bad childhood and they blame it on MK Ultra and all that stuff. Um, I want to tell you something. You know, I was spoiled as a kid. I had an awesome childhood. I had an awesome, you know, young adult. I was, you know, I had an awesome life until I was 40. Um, you know, I was dating all kinds of girls. I was had good jobs. I had... You know, when I was young, I, I was a spoiled brat. I had everything I wanted. When I was 16, I had cars and all this stuff. My first car was a 77 Mustang. You know, I had all this stuff when I was when I was growing up. Um, I had an awesome childhood. I had an awesome life until I was 40 when I became in this program you know so I hear other people talking about yeah they're they were spoiled brats and all that stuff and they had a good childhood and all that stuff and they can kind of track it back to childhood um you know I don't know you know it's it's hard to say who's real and who's fake um I swear on my life I've been in this program since I was a kid. My dad was in the Air Force up here in Duluth, Minnesota. Um, you know, he went AWOL and he went to jail for a little bit and then they made him stay in the Air Force for a couple extra years after that. Is that why I'm targeted? It could be. You know, maybe they thought, well, we'll take his firstborn son and put him in this experimentation program. I have no idea how all that came about, you know. Um, you know, that's that's part of my life I never shared before, you know, on these videos. Um, but I know, you know, I had a grandfather that spoiled the hell out of me. I had a really good childhood. Um, you know, we had mini bikes growing up. I had motorcycles, you know, dirt bikes growing up. And I had cars and all this stuff. I had an awesome childhood. You know, so the, the, the people that say, you know, is it just bad luck or whatever. Uh, you know, if, they, you know, maybe they have bad luck growing up. And maybe they were in MK MKUltra and all this stuff. But, um, as far as me, uh... You know, I'm a real MK Ultra person. Sorry, I had a spit. Um, you know, I'm really MK Ultra. I swear on my life. I am, you know, I swear over the Holy Bible that uh, I am MK Ultra, uh, or another, or, or or another program that I'm in that's designed for me. Um, you know, I had street theater when I was 14 years old. I was in eighth grade and I was doing work crew because I was riding my dirt bike on the road. And there was a kid there that, uh, he knew everything about my life. He was only there one day and I never seen him again. And he knew everything. He knew about my brother. He knew about my brother's girlfriend. He knew everything. That was my first interaction with street theater, you know, and I was like 14 years old, you know, 
other than that, I had a normal life. Can I relate back to this program where some of the things were kind of questionable and all that stuff? Yeah, totally. Um, you know, it's it's um, difficult to understand. You know, I mean, you have to go through your life and all that stuff. You know, there's some things that went on in my life and all that stuff, you know, where it was questionable and they had girls uh, doing certain things and bending over and all this stuff when I was a teenager. You know, grown women. Uh, you know, so, you know, is it, they're still doing that now. You know, is that part of the program? It could be, you know. I don't know. You know, so... I thought I'd do a little video about that. Um, some people talk about having a horrible childhood, and they think they've been in an MK Ultra since they were a kid and all that stuff. Um, me personally, I swear to God, I've been in this program since I was one or two years old. Um, and uh, my childhood was awesome. I had an awesome childhood. You know, like I say before, I had dirt bikes. I had cars I had all this stuff when I turned 16 I had a, you know my first car was a 77 Mustang you know and um, I you know I had an awesome childhood and I had a grandfather who really loved me and spoiled the hell out of me pretty much you know so I feel bad <coughs> I feel bad for those people that have had a bad childhood if they think they're an MK, MK Ultra since they were a kid and stuff. Uh, you know, they've been doing this since, what, the 50s, the 40s, whatever. You know, they didn't start talking about the magnetic uh, part of this program until, what, the 60s or 70s? You know, they, when they can, you know, do, do remote or monitoring and all that stuff. You know, so, I don't know. I don't really have a point to this video. It's just... Um, I feel bad for those guys that had a bad childhood. Um, not all of us that are, have been in MK Ultra had a bad childhood. I had an awesome childhood. Adulthood was awesome. I was dating all kinds of girls. I had girls that, you know, I almost got married at one point in my life. Um, you know, 10 years ago. Um, and, you know, and... I, I realized it was them guys messing it up, you know, and stuff. And, um, you know, so I just want to say that. Anyway, I'm going to cut this off. I thought I would share a little bit um, because not all of us have had a bad childhood that's in this program and stuff. And, uh, you know, some sometimes they let us do good things in life and and then they put us in trauma and mind control. But I'm going to cut this off and I'll talk to you guys later.